Other big news tonight, North Carolina has its first case of coronavirus right here in Wake County. 475 people in the hospital, 515 people in the hospital, 3,001 people in our hospitals with COVID-19. And sadly, there are 6,291 people who have died. In the past year, our state, our country, our world has faced an unprecedented challenge. We understand that this pandemic has affected us in a way that nobody could ever imagine. When COVID-19 started spreading through North Carolina, our healthcare workers were ready and willing to work tirelessly. Determined to beat the virus, they overcame obstacles like PPE shortages and extended work hours, all while dealing with the emotional impact of the pandemic. Overall, our staff, I think in general, has kind of accepted, we call it our new norm now. We all have to really be there, sometimes two, three, four nurses to one patient to make sure we're giving the best care that we can for all the COVID patients right now that are in our ICU currently. Mm -hmm. um, we're all kind of at a level of acceptance that this is here, it's not gonna go away tomorrow. We're kind of dealing with how we're moving forward. Amidst the pandemic, our focus was drawn to racial injustices in our society injustices that contributed to the coronavirus disproportionately impacting people of color. This disease has really pulled back the curtain on some very startling and troubling um, disparities that we see. While we face this together, we also acknowledge that it's just one component of the many stresses and challenges that we all face. Over the last few months, we have continued difficult conversations about race and structural racism. Our healthcare heroes continued to push themselves, knowing they were serving and saving their communities. We're saving lives out here. We are frontline. We do know the risk that comes out with it, but as long as we're helping each other and trying to get a hold on this virus to get the world back to normal, we're, we're doing everything we can. We're testing anywhere between 70 to 150 people a day. It's just been an amazing experience to see everyone come together to work for the community and make sure that we're providing the best care that we can uh, for our patients across the state. And their communities had their backs too. I think our nurses build a tremendous partnership from our citizens and community mm -hmm. as people have followed the guidance uh, around social distancing. There's been such an outpour of gratitude and appreciation from the community, people giving everything from food to PPE and, and other things to express their appreciation for healthcare workers. I want to give a big thanks to all your doctors, nurses, hospital workers, and first responders. My heroes are the health care providers, the health care professionals that are taking care of our sick. My family and I want to tell you thank you. I just want to thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our physician researchers in the UNC School of Medicine worked to tackle the pandemic by creating our own COVID-19 test. With our test that we started today, it's a molecular test, which means we're looking at gene sequences of the virus that causes COVID-19. Finding treatments and coordinating clinical trials for vaccines. Despite the many stresses of the last few months for all of us, one thing that has brought me great comfort is the fact that we have some of the world's truly leading experts on our faculty working tirelessly to help us better understand this virus. Vaccines have saved uh, literally hundreds of millions of lives across the globe. And people were asked to step up to make those events happen for, for other people across the globe. And uh, as a scientist that works on coronaviruses, I think it's absolutely essential that I step up and volunteer for this. And then finally, a shot of hope. It's really an emotional moment, and I'm so grateful for 10 months of such hard work and to have it culminate um, in today. It really does, it's, it illustrates a turning point for all of us. Today's a, a big deal and it's exciting for us. Um, it's really a milestone in our fight against the virus and protecting our, our co-workers. Um, and also provides a little, little bit of hope. It's the beginning of a healing. 
uh, it's the beginning of the healing period for all of us. You know, I'm really excited to have this opportunity, help protect my family, help protect uh, my patients. This is a huge part of history. We're making strides in the care of COVID, and I'm so happy to do this, not only to protect myself, but my family and my patients. Remember, just one month ago, there was no vaccine here in North Carolina, and now look at us. Um, a month in, we have more than 400,000 people that have been vaccinated across our state. Actually, more than 450,000 people that have been vaccinated. Um, and we're speeding up every day. And yes, we've heard the governor's charge to make sure we're accelerating uh, getting uh, folks vaccine. And from the state perspective, we want to help make sure our partners are successful. The fight isn't over, but our heroes aren't backing down either. bonds they forged have made them stronger than ever. They know we need them. They know they are the light that will lead us out of this dark place. We're in a real dark tunnel at the moment, and finally we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It may be months before everyone gets immunized, but finally we have a way of really defeating this pandemic and getting back to life as we remember it a year ago.